Hi there YouTube and welcome to this video where I will be explaining how you can set up your Fractrate server so that it can run multiple bots at the same time. After you have watched this video I hope you can create your own multiple server to run multiple strategies at the same time. I put a lot of effort in making these videos so please click the like button and give me a comment if these videos help you with making your own profitable trading bots. Also please remember that this video is intended for entertainment and education purposes only. I am not pretending to be a professional and all information you see in this video are my personal experiences and knowledge from the books and websites I read. Now let's move ahead with the setup for this video. For these demonstrations I will make use of my Linux Mint virtual environment. I have installed Fractrate on this system as shown in one of my earlier videos. All configurations are on my GitHub page so you can follow along with this video. If you want more specific information about Fractrate as your trading bot, strategy building, hyperopt or other bot information, please use the Fractrate site. This site is an excellent additional resource for this video. Before I start explaining how you can set up multiple bots on one single server instance, I want to give you some attention to the advantages and disadvantages of a setup like this. If you have a tight budget or do not want to maintain multiple server instances, then a multibot setup on your server could be a good option. Also, if you want to run multiple strategies on one account, then a setup like this could be beneficial. The disadvantages are that your hardware should be good enough to run multiple bots and you should have a good internet connection, because a lot of traffic will be exchanged between the bot and your exchange. I have run up to 3 bot instances on my Raspberry Pi 3 without any problems, but this was on an install script environment. Running 3 docker containers proved to be too much for the system, but then again this could be because I did not configure my docker environment optimally, who knows. The most obvious and most risky disadvantage is that if your server crashes or breaks down, then your bots are not working. If you are not aware of this, then you might lose money because exit signals are not given to the exchange. And as always, have good backups of your environment and strategies so that you can rebuild your server as quickly as possible. Now the setup for a multibot environment is quite simple. In my case I have one server instance and that's my Linux virtual environment. I have installed Fractrate with the install script. For each bot I have created a service script. And you can see how I did this in my earlier video, the short and sweet guide to Fractrate as a Linux service. I will leave a link in the description below. These service scripts each point to a specific configuration file on my Fractrate bot. And in these config files I will tell these instances to use a certain strategy, create a certain specific trading database and configure the UI so I can watch all bot performances from one single web instance. Let's go ahead and configure this on my Linux system. Now as I said earlier I have prepared everything on my GitHub page. So this is the Git repository that I have been downloading to my server. And you can see I have some service files over there for bot A and bot B. I have uh, two configuration files and I also have downloaded some of the strategies that I've created earlier in uh, earlier videos. So let's open a terminal window. And I'm always using a midnight commander for this purpose to copy and paste or to just drag stuff around on my system. And here you see these two service files and let me open one of them to let you see what's inside. This is the service file for bot A as you can see over here. And what I have configured is my working directory, which is in this case uh, opt fractrate. You should change this to your own installation directory of course. And also the exec start is pointing to the fractrate file, which is in a virtual environment for Python which is the default installation by the way for Fractrate. And you can start Fractrate without even having to open the virtual environment of Python this way. So in this case you can make a service file of it. Well Fractrate gets the command trade and also I'm pointing to the configuration file which is in the opt Fractrate user data directory and it points to configuration A, config A. So let's close this and go to config A and open that one. And here you can see it's the default configuration file for Fractrate. But the most important stuff is all the way down. Because here you can see that I have enabled the API server, which points to the local host. It, this is uh, port 8080 for bot A. 
bot B will be port 8081. And what's important is the course origins, because if you want to load multiple bots from the same web user interface, you should add, in this case, localhost to the course origins file. Again, my username and password. This should be, of course, a very good password and a secret key, which should also be a good secret key. In the service file, you saw that I have pointed bot A to this configuration file. And here you see where the magic happens, because I give this bot a name, which is bot A. And I say that the user data directory is a factory user data. The strategy path is also user data. And I point this bot to the sample strategy, which is in my strategies directory. And here I also tell the bots which name the database should have. And in my case, I have said that this database should be a trades version 3 underscore A. So bot A has service configuration A, has config A, and also has the trades database A. Well, this is all the standard stuff, which I also explained in earlier videos. So uh, if you want to know more about this whole configuration file options, then I would certainly recommend you to watch my earlier videos. Let's close this file. Whoops. And now let's copy and paste these files into their correct locations. Uh, but first, before I do this, I have to open Midnight Commander into sudo mode. So exit and do sudo. Okay, now I have to correct permissions, I think. Go to this and copy and paste these two files to their correct locations. And there you can see that FragBot A service and FragBot B service are in place. Again, this points to config A and this file points to config B that is also available in the user data directory of Fractrate. So let's stop. Go ahead and return to the Fractrate directory. And go to user data. And now let's copy and paste these two files into the directory. So again, just copy and paste, which is very easy with this program. And I also have some strategies over here, but I have them already because I made these in my earlier videos. So let's check config A and config B again. Here you can see the config A, which points to bot A, user data, and has a trace version 3 underscore A name, has port 8080, and points to localhost 8080. And for the configuration file B, again, all these other settings are uh, can be set to your own likings. And the pairs, of course, also. And here you can see the bot configuration for bot B, and that's port 8081. Also points to localhost 8080, freight rate bot B, and it will create a trades v3 underscore B database when it's running. So now everything is in place and you can see there are no databases over here. These are just some test databases which I uploaded in my repository. But when I start the bots, there will be new databases created with the similar names. So let's do it like this system CTL start and then it's called rec underscore bot a service and now let's start bot a and if i see the status you can see that it's running and let's also do the same with bot b And let's see also if bot B is running. And there you have it, two active bots. You can also do it like this.
Here you can see the both instances of the frag trade bots running in their own uh, process identifier in with their own process ID. I mean, so uh, yeah, this looks great. Stop it. Now to add both bots to the startup of the server, we should do the following and start with bot B first, enable and also the same with bot A. So now when the server reboots, or restarts, these bots will automatically get started as well. So now that the bot is running, I can close the terminal window and I can open my browser to go to the Fractrade user interface, which is on my local host. So I just do like this. And then it's port 8080. Whoops, and I did not install the Fractrade UI on this machine, so that's not a problem. Just go to the Fractrade directory and just activate the virtual environment again. and install the user interface. Okay, this is it. Restart. And there you have it, the user interface. Let's make it a little bit bigger. What I now have to do is add the bot. So this is because bot A is on port 8080, I will name this bot A. And my username and password are dcd open, don't not want to have to save. So this is bot A. And now to add bot B, just call it bot B. And because it's on the same server, but on another port, I will add the port here. And it's the same user and password. Don't save it as well. And now you can see that both A and bot B are on the user interface and they're up and running. And I can now check if there are already some trades for my first bot, which is not the case. And the second bot, which is also not the case. So uh, yeah, but I just started them. so. Here you can see the log files. You can see here, this is bot B. And if I did the same with bot A, reload, then you can see that this is bot A. So there you have it, a complete and quick tutorial on how to install multiple bots on your server. Uh, I hope you like it and I hope this answers your question and see you the next time. If you like the contents of this video and you think it was worth your time, then please click the like button and let me know. Also, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get updated on new videos. It certainly helps me to give me positive feedback because I put a lot of time and effort in these videos to give you valuable content. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.